Hey folks, Anthony Special here with Hawkeye Traders. Welcome to the video. Going through a uh, case study here on a trade that we took inside of the Big Energy Profits program. Also going to talk about how Hawkeye Volume played a huge influential role in making this decision to utilize this trade setup inside the model portfolio. So we're going to be looking today at Plug Power Incorporated, ticker Plug, P-L-U-G. This is a daily chart on the NASDAQ exchange. And I'm going to really kind of zoom into this entry area right here because I believe this is kind of where our focus needs to be had because this is where the decision was made. So notice we have this little bit of a consolidative state for several days. We take a fairly aggressive push here. And then we come right back up. Now, my decision came into play based upon the high selling volume found in this very specific candle, October 11th, 2023. All right. Subsequently, the next couple days, we were unsuccessful in closing above this candle here. And we utilized this candle specifically as our entry point. So got short there at uh, 735, took some initial profits pretty quickly, 625, advancing our stop to our entry. Now, I want you to just take a quick second here and kind of notice what the risk versus the reward looked like, okay? This is at the first profit taking. We were risking about 8.2% to start taking profit profit roughly at about 15%. So just short of a two to one risk reward there. Now, felt fairly confident based on the bigger picture. We were what, in a downtrend that there could be some real continuation. Now, we walked around this channel line for some period of time, but I want you to notice something. Some of the biggest trades that I've made the most amount of money on have just been gap trades. Right? I'm already in the position, I'm moving with the momentum, I'm following the volume, and all of a sudden this random gap comes along. And when these gaps transpire, you have the opportunity to make a lot of money. So if I come down here to this order being filled at the open of the regular session, you can see this order got filled at almost a 50% gain now we are still holding this for roughly a 72 almost 73 percent gain at our final target and if it continues lower from there so be it guys this all was determined by one simplistic thought process that ultra high selling volume at an area of a prior consolidative state and notice my stop went above the consolidation, all right? My entry went slightly below the consolidation. And this market played out as planned. Because right here, it was, there was an obvious aggression of sellers that stepped into the market. And no matter what buying came in subsequently over the next couple days, buyers were unsuccessful in pushing through this high. You can see they tested it, but they were unable to close above it. And right there, right, right when they tried to push that high, boom, that's when the sell-off transpired. Very aggressively, one, two, three days later, we're at our target. The fourth day, we're at our support line. And then, like I said, we kind of dance around, but at this point, we take our stop from the position that we had it at our entry, and we move it to our entry. Why? Because we're not willing to risk giving back any of the profit potential that we've already taken. When the market took that big gap, offering us just about 50%, we then took our stop, we took more profit, we took our stop from our entry and moved it to target number one. And I'll zoom out and I'll show you that target number one has never been revisited, right? We are literally 16 cents or 16 ticks if you want to call it well it's not ticks inside of the stock but we're 16 cents away from getting our final profit target now if we break that we'll uh you know do some further analysis continue 
looking to see how things go from there. But guys, taking profit at 15%, taking profit at 50%, and then now potentially taking our next profit if we reach it, which looks like we're going to, um, somewhere in the vicinity of over 70%. That's how it's done, but it was the decision was made by understanding what the what the aggressive intention was in this very specific candle. So, if you'd like to join me inside of a training webinar, I'm going to put a link directly below this video. I'd like to dive deeper into helping you understand this relationship that exists between buyers, sellers, meaning the volume and the price action itself and how you can interpret it on any time frame, on any asset class, how you can utilize it for scalping, day trading, position trading, swing trading. I mean, whatever your approach may be, including options, understanding this unique relationship between volume and price action is invaluable in my humble opinion. It is what changed my trading and how I would hope to, to like to see it change yours. So as we work our way through the webinar, I'm going to want to take the next step, get the indicators populated on your charting platform. They work on TradeStation, TradingView, NinjaTrader, MetaTrader, all right? Um, as I mentioned before, you can trade all asset classes on all time frames. We'll get them up there for you. We're gonna then not just leave you with the webinar, we're gonna give you access to the Hawkeye Volume Mastery Series so you can dial in and focus on what is happening, when, where, and why, so you can look at any market, any time frame, and have a clear understanding of who the aggressor is and how you can make effective trading decisions around that. So I'll leave that link directly below this video. I'll see you in the training webinar, guys. I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day, and I will talk to you very, very soon.